Again, this is for homicide 16 for 2014. On March 25th at about 5.45 p.m., police were called to a report of a shooting at the address of 436, 436 Semington Avenue in the city of Toronto. Upon arrival, police found a 64-year-old male identified as Nock Nago, uh, shot multiple times laying in the doorway of his home. Mr. No was pronounced dead at the scene. An autopsy later performed uh, found the cause of death to be multiple gunshot wounds to the body. At the time, there were two other people in the home. Neither of these people were injured. Witnesses report seeing several white males running from the home at the time of the shooting. They boarded a minivan, dark or black in color, and left the area. That van was parked on the northwest corner of Kingsley Avenue and Perth Avenue, just southwest of the shooting. One of the males observed leaving the address is described as male white, five foot eight, with a heavy build in his early 20s, with brown hair wearing baggy blue jeans. I'm asking the residents uh, in the area and the general public traveling through that area to turn their minds back to Tuesday early evening and see if they have a memory of that van and particularly that driver leaving the area. Although, although I do not believe the murder to be random, I cannot believe that Mr. No, a 64-year-old self-employed gardener, could have crossed paths with anyone who could perceive him as a threat. Once again, I ask the public's participa participation in uh, locating that van or any information they have if they saw that van in the area. Right. Questions? The uh, people in the home, were they relatives? Can you yes, they were. They were relatives of Mr. No. Um, sorry? sorry? Wife, or wife and, uh, and another relative, yes. Uh, Mr. No had uh, de had developed his own uh, business. He was a landscaper. He did uh, local homes and small businesses in the area. You know, I, I'm not aware who the suspect is at this time, so I'm not aware of any connection. But again, Mr. No was a 64-year-old man. Uh, he opened the door of his home and was shot immediately upon opening the door. I. Um, I have two operating theories. Um, that which is, uh, that is a targeted killing. Uh, this is not a random killing. It is targeted um, by some perceived injustice by a 64-year-old uh, gardener or a mistaken identity where the shooter is uh, just plain careless and had no regard for anyone else uh, in that home or in the vicinity. Does the victim have a criminal record at all or to the not, police? Not, not, not anything I'm aware of, no. Can you tell us a little bit more about the victim, other than what he was self-employed, a gardener? Right? Self-employed, married with children, with several children. He has a, a number of grandchildren, um, devoted family man that has taken this house in the west end of Toronto and renovated it. Um, like I said, very, um, just a small business he owns, but very, uh, very successful uh, in the area. Uh, well known to residents. I will tell you that I've had um, unbelievable participation from the residents in the area. Witnesses have come forward, stayed uh, immediately with police. Uh, we've had lots of participation in the area. It's a quite a tight community and they're quite shaken, shaken by this, uh, by this killing. How long have they lived in the house? Um, they have lived there 18 years, I believe. Okay, yes, yeah. go ahead. Any possibility of video surveillance? Uh, we have a fair bit. We've actually just secured it this after, uh, this morning, and so I have investigators uh, going over that uh, video um, right now. Is that from a home or from a business? Uh, from both. We had several several homes and businesses in the area who have uh, video, and we're able to secure it today. Did you mention how many shots were fired? Uh, multiple. I'm not aware at this current time. We're still we're still forensically looking at the uh, at the home, uh, but there were multiple shots and and sprayed everywhere. So this is uh, the, whoever these gentlemen are, and I use that term loosely, um, uh, had no regard for uh, whether their children were in the home at that time or not. So uh, um, pretty dangerous, uh, pretty dangerous fellas out there. Can you talk a little bit more about the vehicle again? Are there any discerning marks that the public should be looking for? It's just, a, I have it described from several people as a black uh, van. Um, has a large window in the back, not two small windows. One large window. One of my witnesses uh, describes it as a soccer mom van. If that helps, um, you know, I think that's fairly a good descriptor. It's a minivan, black or dark in color. Okay. 
Yes. Um, when you say several, is there any kind of Two to six. Two to six. But all in their, all, uh, in their early 20s. And the one description is just of one male. Just as the driver, the driver of the van. Okay. So this is an execution style killing. Yeah, it absolutely is an execution uh, style killing. Um, again, I'm having difficulty um, coming to a place in my investigation where a 64-year-old um, man living in his home in his slippers is a, is a threat. So, like I said, either um, either targeted uh, Mr. No for uh, some perceived threat or just careless and uh, and and got the wrong person. Were there people around uh, walking around on that street? Yes, it was 5:45. Uh, people were arriving home from work. Uh, one lady was picking up her daughter from a daycare who, uh, which is next door, um, and she was uh, picking up her daughter at the time when the shooting had happened. Uh, they are in a state of disbelief. I suspect that's the best I can describe it. They, um, they really are um, at a loss to explain any of it. Okay, good. Sorry, all the uh, suspects are men, right? male? Yes, all male, white. Thank you, good? Thank you. Okay, thanks guys. That concludes today's conference. Thank you.